Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at Here Maps, which is Nokia Maps for iOS. It was just released today, and there it is right there. This is um, the new strategy after the rebranding of Nokia Maps to Here Maps, and it's been coming to new platforms. The APIs are coming to Android, and here we have the actual application built in HTML5 available for iOS, iPad, and iPhone. Um, note that there are two different devices, the iPad one and the iPhone one, so it's just not a, the iPad version is not a blown up version of the iPhone. So let's take a look at it. Um, it's very similar to the web interface, which is, um, if you've used it before, it's pretty clean, simple to use, uh, very nice. You have the new rebranding of here up there in the corner, and it instantly gets your location, of course, after it asks for permissions. Through the this app itself, you can get your you can plan your route ahead, and you can get turn by turn navigation with voice guidance for walk directions only. For public transport and cars, you will get a route direction, but you will not get um, actual turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So, um, let's just give it a try. Here's the um, most popular place in Jordan, City Mall. So, it brings it up instantly, and you have it. The web app itself is pretty smooth, especially since it's loading. The maps aren't pre-downloaded. So, it loads them, and it caches them on the device for use offline later. So, you can take this with you in your car and use it on the go. So here we have City Mall right there. So if I tap on that, I will get the icon down here in the bottom corner, in the bottom screen, and this will bring me my interface options. From the interface options, you either have, let's just switch to the other City Mall because it's the proper one. I actually have the option to call it if I'm an iPhone device. I can call the place, you can share it, or you can ask for a root, and you can add it to collections. Let's just zoom in on the collections button because it's not clear. So you have right there, collect. If you hit collect, hitting collect will actually bring you up into the collections area, which is just favorites, the new word, cute word for favorites. You sign in and you save them online, you can share them with friends, etc. So it's a really cool way to interact. So anyways, you can go back and let's hit root. So if we hit root, it will give us the overlay of our root directions to from where I am right now, my place, please don't stalk me or something, I don't know, to City Mall. And... You can either press play to get the directions, or if you tap this, right that, that corner right there, it will show you the turn-by-turn -turn instructions on how to get there. And up here in the corner, as you can see, if you've used the web app before, you'll know that this is where you choose your navigation area. So this is if you're going by foot. If you're going by car, the instructions change, and you can take public transport, which isn't available in Jordan, unfortunately. So anyways, let's go back to the person guy walking. And if you press play, you'll have using audio precautions, beware, something, 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 etc. For cars and other urban challenges, okay? So, load audio. Depending on your location, sometimes, depending on if you've gone to the route before or not, it might have to load the audio or use a cache off a device. It's not a big download, as you can see, it's already on. So, start journey. Start your journey and head east. So it tells you just to start your journey, and once I head east, I'm not actually going to walk there, but it will tell you to, it will update and give you the new notifications, and over here you can go back to the root overlay. So let's just take a look at what, I, what some people are interested in is comparing this to the Nokia maps that are available on the Lumi devices, which have been promised to bring the best mapping experience, and that's not a lie, of course, because they have turn-by-turn -turn uh, navigation for everything, not just pedestrian and the maps themselves. And in Windows Phone 8 devices, the maps are preloaded onto the device themselves. So they're linked on everything in the device. Any application you use on the device will use the preloaded maps that are cached in. So you will not have to download and wait for them to buffer. Unfortunately, I still have a Windows Phone 7 device, so that's not gonna happen. But, you know, one can hope. So let's just go back to my location. Let's keep hitting back. And if I just hit the button down there, it'll take me to my location. So as you can see, I have the same exact map, overlay view, same location, same place, not in two places at one time. And if I press search and I go to City Mall again, right there, it will show me the same thing. The only difference is that in uh, Lumia devices currently, there are two different applications. One is the maps and one is the drive. So if I click on City Mall, I will have the same options. It'll give me in more information about... The It'll give me more information about it. I'll have the option to call it, categories, um, some photos, reviews, um, nearby, okay, about. And then if I want to get directions, it will open, oh, sorry, it'll give me directions for the car and drive from my location. I can switch from pedestrian 
to motor vehicle. But the locations do not actually work. It'll, it's, this is a navigation instructions overview, but it's not turn by turn navigation, which to get that I'd have to open the Nokia Drive app itself. So anyways, that's just a look at um, the maps. Oh yes, I almost forgot. There's also the layers you can use. Map view can be satellite view, public transport view, or live traffic view. Um, unfortunately, some, most, of the, some, most of these aren't available in Jordan, but you have satellite view, I believe, should be available. So yeah, you got satellite view right there. Pretty good, you know. Um, see how well it buffers. Not too well. And if we want to compare the two um, satellite images, there is no difference, but just to, you know, show you guys. So you can see here you have the same options, satellite, transit, traffic. Let's go to satellite mode. Same thing. Same details. They just look a bit crisper on the iPad because of the larger screen. But um, I, believe me, it is the same exact streets, same details. Uh, that's it for the Here Maps, the iOS device application. It's free on the App Store, available from Nokia itself on the App Store for free. But there's just one complaint I have about it is the fact that it almost nowhere in the App Store itself doesn't mention the name Nokia. So as you can see here in the description, you have... Um, Here's a map as based on world-class nav tech mapping data. Used 90% of car navigation systems around the world. Map views. The only place it mentions Nokia is actually sign in with here maps with Nokia account or Facebook login. And that's the only place where you could actually tell that it's made by Nokia. I don't know if that's to make all people into a sense of, you know, that it's a free app that's not from Nokia. It's not from a competitor. Except for the publisher's name, which is Nokia Gate 5 GmbH, whatever that is. So the app is really cool, and like I said, there's an iPad version and iOS version. If you want the links, I'll be sure to drop them in the comment section below. In the meantime, download it yourselves, check it out, and like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.